Hey, hello there. Today we are going to be animating these super graphics and we are going to make it only from text animators and a simple dot. Bear with me because this is really a technique that can lead you to really amazing results. Series by Hulk 79. Here we are in a new composition. So the first thing that we need, as usual, is a text layer. So we go up here and select the text tool and we click on our composition. I'm going to hit one so that you can see that there is no, no cheating here. I'm going to make it way smaller and now I'm going to hit the period or dot button and yeah in this case it's a square I like I like that uh, it's set in Arial bold and I'm going to crank it up like mad and this is the maximum okay 1000 and something so the next thing that we need is I'm going to select the axis or anchor point tool here and while holding on control I'm going to click twice so that uh, our anchor point or axis is on the center of the layer and I'm going to align that layer okay so I need it I think it looks really cool when it is like a black square on black with this very thin outline uh, that makes like the repetition very sleek and very good looking. So I'm going back here and the fill is going to be black, that's for sure. And then we need here, if we select the stroke, uh, we need to add here a white, okay? And then with this little control here, we can uh, make it thicker or thinner. So next thing that we are going to do is we are going to open the e scale for the layer uh, but yeah I'm going to do it uh, in another way and that's by coming to the animate button opening it and with the scale I'm going to show you that we can use uh, also text animators to change some properties of the layer not only to animate so yeah that's maybe too much I think that could work so that's very cool and now it is a matter of copying it and pasting it several times okay but one of the things is that the kerning or the tracking better set needs to be very very One, two, three, tight so here I'm working at minus 266 let's make it even closer now I click twice to select all the characters or glyphs on the layer I copy them and I start pasting them that way I'm making a lot of repetitions which is something that I really love and a thing that I really 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 love is to create a lot of different in this case created super graphics from actual glyphs so the moment came to start animating this I'm going to make a little bit of cleaning here so I select this I hit enter and I'm going to call it scale so now we are going to come again to the animate button and we are going to add a position text animator in this case okay and um, yeah I'm going to crank this up the Y uh, position and then this is going to be something like 100 let's say pixels and all the magic lays here in the range selector so if we go to advanced we need to come to the shape and change it change it from square into smooth okay so you see how easy that was so we just created a text animator based on the position 
and then we changed this value uh, to animate it would be a matter of playing with the offset so at the beginning it's going to be at let's say minus 100 and this can be kind of slow so in second three this should be at 100 let's say so that means that this is going to be making this amazing wave and yeah that's that that's exactly what i did for the instagram post but as you know very well inside this text animator we can keep adding other incredible behaviors so let's come here and in property i'm going to add a rotation for example let's see how that works you see why i call these super graphics okay because these are really 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 super graphics i really love this you can even add like let's say property do, 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 field color rgb and this is going to be white but then at the same time that this is happening we can add a property stroke color rgb and that's going to be black so that means that here it's going to be kind of an inversion of the color treatment which is going to make this simply fantastic to watch so yeah that was that uh, you can play with whatever you want here for example these are actual numbers and I was playing with the character offset here so that's added to the text animator you can add it here in property character offsets I always get confused with these two but you can uh, play with both of them so that you can have a better idea but in this case was the character offset set to 12 and that makes a fantastic kind of animation also I have some tracking uh, opening tracking kind of situation here so yeah I hope you learned something you most importantly you had some fun remember that you have my buy me a coffee webpage where you can contribute link in the description thanks for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one Series by Hulk 79.